Up, it's your boy Martin with Friend Yard Details, and today uh, it's, it's a little small vlog. It's because I, when I was uh, trying to wash my, come here, come a little closer, my uh, my rags, I forgot about them for two days, so I left them. I left them sit sit in here with the uh, rag to riches, which I have in my laundry room, and I put about two ounces of rags to riches with uh, water, and this is all my towels. I just wanted to get them all clean. So if you, let's let's check it out, how it's gonna be when I dump it out. So follow me. Well, hopefully the water the water's black, so like it's, it shows. Oh my no no! Hopefully it doesn't fall off fall out on me again. So I'm trying to strain out all the water from. I'm gonna do a little time lapse of this. So we strained all the all the towels. So we're gonna show you guys the aftermath of the what? Ooh! This is why you need to wash your bucket, uh, your towels, every time after every job. So look at this, look at this. Zoom in on this, zoom in on this. Come here, no, no, get close, get close. Look at this. You see it? You're there. Ooh, that's what I said, bro. Alright, so these towels are all good. They're all dry. We we uh, drenched them. You know, did a little whole little twisting. So we're gonna go uh, inside and put them in the uh, in the washer now. So it gets a good uh, like a good rinsing, and we'll put it in the dryer right after that. So let's go. Alright, guys. So we're gonna move on to the uh, washing process now. So. We're gonna grab our bucket of these. Oh, it almost fell out. All right, so we're gonna grab our bucket of these just uh, recently drenched, uh, rinsed. How would you say that? The when you twist it, rinse was it? Drench was it? Twist something? <laughs> Drench them. Drench them. Is that what it is? I think so. All right, so you when you, them. whenever you uh, take out the water out of them, it's pretty me lost. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna we're gonna put these all in the uh, in the washer now, and I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna tell you guys what settings you need to put them. We're not gonna add any more detergent to them because we did let them sit for two days because I forgot about them. So we're gonna dump these all in here. So if you guys want to come closer, and I'll be showing you guys what settings you need to put the towels on so you don't uh, damage the microfibers. Because if you scratch up the microfibers, that could lead to uh, scratches in the paint. So that is not what we want as detailers. We want to maintain our clients' vehicles, treat them as our own, stuff like that. So we're going to turn on our washer. And we're, we're going to put it on a either delicate or a quick wash. Here we're going to put it on delicate because... We just want it to rinse out all the detergent from the towels. So we're just going to start it. And we're just going to wait till that finishes. And we'll be back. Okay, now that we're back with the dryer, it is now finished. So come over here. Check this out. It's a little rinsed off. A little bit more than it was before we did it ourselves. So now we're going to throw it into the dryer. And I'll tell you guys what settings you need to put it into the dryer. So we are using PNS's Rags to Riches. It's pretty uh, good for what this is, but you could also use um, other detergents and stuff like that. So a little downside to putting your scrub ninjas in with your different colored towels is that they do tend to change colors. So this one's blue and green. And then this one's just uh, green and a little bit of blue in the back. So th that is a little downside to it. But uh, the good thing is that the scrub ninjas are rewashable. And there is a sale on Amazon right now from the July 11th and 12th uh, deals. And the uh, scrub ninjas went from $15 all the way down to $10. So I might have to pick my 
pick some up for myself as well. And if you would come over here, these are the settings you would want for your dryer. You would want it to put it on normal dry and delicate, which would be low heat. And then you would turn it on. So just turn it on. So now we'll be back with you guys after these are finished. Okay guys, so it's day two. You know, last night we were recording a little too late, but we got the, we got the towels here, all saturated, suturated, all that, you know, all that good stuff. You feel me? We're, t uh, we're just gonna do a time lapse of me folding this stuff. What we got, let me take you guys to what we got. We got applicator pads, our yellow towels, stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, this video is just showing you guys what I do on like a, like not day-to-day -day basis, but what I usually do when I do a job here in my uh, shop, I just basically make sure I have my, my towels are all washed, stuff like that. So enjoy this time lapse. Okay guys, so here's a little tip right before I put my towels uh, to the place that they usually go, is when you uh, fold your towels, you wanna fold them with the uh, fold going that way. Because when you pick up a towel, you don't wanna pick it up like this and then you get mixed up and then it unfolds by accident, so stuff like that. So you guys wanna fold them like this, have them facing this back part towards you. So you can just pick one up and go, pick one up and go, pick one up and go, and stuff like that. And it's just more helpful and more uh, organized if you guys fold them like that. We're just going to restock these chemicals. So the ones I need restocking is my Brake Buster. Uh, uh, I'll let the Express uh, Interior Slide, Carpet Bomber, Stain, and Stain Terminator. Just these three. Chemicals need to be replaced or restocked, so I'm gonna restock them right now. So we're gonna restock the chemicals now. And a little tip is that you guys always wanna have distilled water within your setups, your mobile setups or your shops, because uh, the minerals in regular water could mess up the chemical and we don't really want that as detailers. So we're, we're gonna fill this back up with uh, distilled water. Oh, let out all the pressure first. So the dilution that I use for my brake buster, it's five to one. So, and I use a homemade foam sprayer. And if you guys want a video on how to make it, I'll make sure to make one for you guys. So I already know where to fill it up because I'm uh, pretty much familiar with it. So I'm gonna fill it up for there. It is also really good to have multiple gallons of distilled water because you, you could easily run out as one gallon sometimes isn't enough when it comes to refilling your chemicals. So let's get to putting the chemical in now. Hopefully it doesn't spill. There's Brake Buster all filled up again. I'm gonna move this onto this over here to the side. And now we're gonna fill up our two system carpet washer, which is carpet bomber and stain uh, remover or stain terminator. We're gonna start with carpet bomber. Carpet bomber and stain terminator are getting super expensive when it comes to running a business because I'm not sure if you could dilute them. So I'm always just putting it full strength within my 32 ounce bottles. And it, it does uh, waste pretty quickly as my interior package is my most popular package. So I'm always running out of these chemicals and I'm always having to restock it. This is about my third restock of this chemical. It does run out pretty quickly as you can see, but that's how it is when, it, when, when you're running a business, you have to restock chemicals and things, things like that. So we're gonna clean it off, make sure nothing leaks, no spills. If there is any spills, make sure to just wipe them off your table. So now we're gonna restock a uh, stain terminator, which is this one right here. As again, you wanna wash, clean off any spills. 
things like that. I do recommend you guys use a funnel. I just didn't use a funnel this time because I'm not sure where my funnel's at. <laughs> so it is a good thing if you do use a funnel. Okay, guys, so that's me basically just restocking my chemicals using distilled water. You always want to use distilled water when it comes to diluting your chemicals. And as of right now, I do not need to restock any more chemicals. So yeah, guys, that's basically how it is with me running a business, how fast chemicals can run out on you. Breakbuster does, this is basically uh, my first, uh, no, this is, yeah, my first uh, gallon of Breakbuster. Breakbuster doesn't waste that quickly because as you could, as you saw, you could pretty, you could dilute it heavily and it'll still do the job. Me, I dilute it uh, five to one. That gives it the perfect amount of foam and cleaning power for those satisfying videos. And as of these two, I'm not sure if you can dilute them. I haven't heard of anybody dilute, diluting them. So you, you always want to use these full strength when it comes to cleaning those super dirty carpets. And yeah, guys. Okay, guys. So in today's video, you guys basically saw me maintaining my towels, reorganizing my towels. And basically just restocking up all my chemicals. And guys, if you guys do want to pre-order my foam cannon, you would have to do it through my Instagram. Because uh, I'm trying to open up a website for it. But as of now, you would have to order them through my Instagram. I, I, I do have videos showcasing the performance of this on my Instagram as well. If you guys are curious, I have all the information over there on my Instagram as well. And I will be doing a video on showcasing uh it by itself while i wash uh my work truck so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed today's video i will be doing more vlog uh type videos uh in the future and thank you guys